So let's begin. Yoga emotion. And we're going to begin lying down in Shavasana. So I'm comfortable on the floor. Lying your body down. Maybe let your hands rest on your belly for a second. Let the feet fall out to the side. Breathe in through the nostrils. <sighs> Sigh out from the mouth. And again, breathe in through the nostrils. Sigh out through the mouth. Now we'll just chant the mantra OM, just one long, loud OM. Chanting the mantra OM, lying in Shavasana. You're going to either have the hands on the body or let the hands rest at the side of the body. Close your eyes, breathe in deeply. Ah. And then breathe in again and breathing out for the mouth. Give yourself a full extension here, extending, pointing the toes, extending the fingers away from the toes making yourself as long as possible, breathing in to the whole length of your body from fingertips to toes and breathing out. Release. Let's see if we can focus on one side at a time. So take hold of the left wrist with the right hand. I'm going to relax the right side. So encourage that right side to relax. Now breathing into the left side, breathe in. Particularly the left waist. Now breathing out, push the left heel away, drawing the toes towards you on the ground there and just Gently guiding that left wrist, that left arm upwards and over your head. Let the head roll over and rest onto the upper right arm. So we're really extending through the left. Use your breath to help you along. You can always tighten the left buttock slightly. That helps to encourage that lengthening process. Breathing in and breathing out through the nostrils. Enjoy that gradual extension and expansion using your breath and your intention without pushing or pulling. And one more breath out, then breathing in and releasing on the out breath. And just noticing how that arm just flops, how nice that feels, how much more loose and open that side feels. So relax the left side now. Encourage that left side to relax. Take hold of the right wrist with the left hand. Push the right heel away, breathing into the right side now. Really feel that in the right waist. And as you breathe out, you're going to push the right heel away, tense the right buttock, extend through the right arm, let that arm go right over the head, and let your head roll over to rest on the upper left arm. Breathe deeply. Breath coming in. And breath going out. Feel that breath in your body, creating space and freedom in your body. One more breath in. And releasing that right hand on the out breath and just feeling that little bit more spaciousness in the body. Both legs are relaxed now on the ground. Arms are on the ground, fairly relaxed. Breathe in through the nostrils. And breathing out, lifting the arms up. So the straight arms moving through space on this out breath. And they reach the ground either side of the body at the end of the out breath. And we're moving very mindfully here, breathing in. The arms are coming up. Keep your mind focused on your body, on your breath. And notice when it wants to wander off, when it wants to wander away. Want to whatever is interesting or capturing your attention. Notice what is capturing your attention and keep bringing it back. 
So the mind is involved in this. We've got the body, the breath, and the mind. And we're keeping these things smooth, even, and steady. So we're just really focusing the mind at the beginning of our practice today. Noticing what's there, noticing what we feel, what our body is feeling, what our energy is like, and accepting all of that, allowing that, and holding all of that. And by relaxing and slowing down, we naturally increase our capacity to hold all of this. You know, we often find ourselves overwhelmed. When we increase our capacity by releasing the tension, then we can hold a lot more. We can hold a lot more of what's going on. Let the hands rest on the sides, breathe in. As you breathe out, press the back into the ground and draw the knees up. And let's release the back a little bit. So have a rock side to side. We're moving very mindfully, being very involved in what we're doing. This itself, you know, is the practice. Keeping the mind focused, noticing how you feel, being with your body, being with your breath. Good. And let's make a circle now. Knees stay together, holding hands on top of the kneecaps there. And we're just drawing a big circle, inhaling as the knees go away, exhaling as you draw the knees into the body. And doing it again, doing this very slowly, mindfully, moving with your breath. And we'll go the other way, breathing in as your knees go away and breathing out as you squeeze the knees into the body and just enjoying this movement. And let go of the hands if you want to See how it feels to be hands-free without the holding of the hands. You maybe want to go for a bigger circle, a bigger, have a range of movement, using the abdominals a bit more. And then come to center again. Extend the legs up, extend the arms up. So we're like an upside down tabletop, drawing the toes towards you, pushing and kicking the heels up, really getting a good extension on the back of the legs. And we're just going to flex the ankles and wrists, as much as we can, seeing what movement there is. More movement in the wrists in a way there. Breathing in and breathing out. Just seeing how that impacts. We're not just moving the wrists and the ankles because you notice how it impacts other parts of the body. Everything's connected. And then we're just gonna loosen that all up by rotating the wrists and ankles freely feeling that space and another way good and then hug the knees again keep hold of the right knee extend the left leg out we're going to come into a twist here so taking the left hand onto the right knee extend the right arm out to the side palm flat down breathing in now as you breathe out take the knee right over the body right over to the left and at the same time, taking the head over to the right. So we're creating this twist by having the knee going one way and the eyes and the face going the other way. And we're attempting to relax that right shoulder down to the ground. And eventually that right knee will come to the ground on the left side. Or at least that's where it's moving. Breathe deeply, maybe even close your eyes, just feel into this posture. And enjoy the twist, this beautiful twist. Give it some breath. Give it some breath in your twisted spine there, right to the top of the head, right to the base. Breathing in like a spinal breath. Breathing in from the base, breathing in right to the top, and breathing out, tracking back down and out through the base. Use the inhale now to lift the knee to center, lift the head to center. Give that knee a little squeeze and place the sole of the foot on the ground, slide that leg away. Now lifting the left knee up, hugging the knee into the body. Now come into that twist, so right hand on the left knee, breathe in, breathing out, take the knee right over to the right. And at the same time, the head goes over to the left, the arm extends out to the left. And again, close your eyes, breathe into this twist, breathing in, imagine you're drinking up the air from the base of the spine, Right to the top of the head. Breath coming in. 
breath going out, keeping your focus on the center. So imagining and feeling the breath in your center and your, imagine you're breathing up and down the spine, staying with your center, everything else moving around, life happening, we stay at our center. Good. I use the inhale to lift the knee back to center, take the head back to center. Hug that knee a little bit and then place the sole of the foot on the ground, slide the legs away, give yourself a full extension again, just to stretch out the waist. Okay. And then bring the hands back alongside. Bring the knees in, so uh, bend the knees and bring the feet towards close to the buttocks. The feet are hips width part parallel, palms flat down. Chin is tucked in as tightly as you can to the chest, so that you want to touch the chin to the chest. And keep the space between the knees level. So there's space between the feet. Using the inhale, lift the hips, inhaling all the way up and exhaling all the way down, rolling the spine down. Breathing in all the way up, lifting the hips high, making the front of the body really long and spacious and exhaling, rolling down. So we're getting really involved, the front and the back of the body. Mostly with this one, it's opening up the front of the body, inhaling and exhaling, rolling down. If you want to move your arms with this, I know some people prefer this movement. So as you inhale, lifting the hips, lifting the arms, arms come above the head and exhaling, rolling down. And the arms are trying to meet the ground at the same time the base of the spine meets the ground. So that's uh, it's a good thing for your mind to have to focus on. So the mind is helping to keep the movement smooth, even and steady, and to coordinate the movement with the arms and the back there, if you're moving your arms, that is. Make it a big, strong, full inhale, lifting the hips high, pushing off the feet, and exhaling, rolling down. Keeping the space between the knees, knees level, keeping those thighs strong. Don't let the knees splay out or come together. And that knees requires almost a slight squeezing of the thighs, as if they're being pressed together, but they're not together, there's space between them. You're holding them in place there. So this time we're gonna come up, so keeping the hands on the ground this time, and we're gonna see if we can hold this posture for a few breaths. If you want to, if you can get your shoulders close together and your arms meeting, interlink the fingers, and you can press the backs of the arms into the ground as you press up, through the feet, lifting the chest, lifting the chest towards the chin. Keep breathing in and out through the nostrils. Strong in the legs. Opening the whole front of the body. If your arms are, if fingers are all together, um, untwine them. Have the hands flat down again, breathe in. And breathing out, roll down slowly, this lovely snaky spine, rolling it down to the ground. And again, counterpose by hugging the knees, giving them a good squeeze, have a rock and roll. Yeah, free up the back. They always will enjoy this movement. And then we're gonna roll onto the side and come up to all fours. Okay. So finding all fours, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, space between them. Make sure the elbows are nice and bent. Not so, the, the shoulders are back, so we have a space at the front of the chest. So we're going to do these opposite movements. Breathing, I was gonna go for both. <laughs> so extend the left leg back and extend the right arm forwards. So it's the opposite movements, opposite hand, arm to leg. Breathing in, extend that left arm forward, right leg back, and breathing out, bring that hand and knee back down to the ground. Looking forwards looking where that right fingertips is going. So it's really extending and then breathing out, softening. Make it a strong motion, breathing in, breathing out. It's like you're creating a line, a strong line from the fingertips to the toes, a straight line and breathing out, lowering down, softening. Inhaling fully, exhaling fully. Really exhale, feel the belly button push back towards the back of the body as you squeeze that breath out. And by doing this, we very quickly slow and deepen the breath. And then we notice how that impacts on us, on our body, on our mind, on our emotional um, body, if you like. We slow and deepen the breath. 
notice what happens. How do I feel? How is my mind? How's my body feeling? Slowing it all down. Coordinating the movement of the body to the breath. Let's go one more. And then sit back into the heels. Slide the hands forward. We're in the pose of the swan. Bring the forehead to the ground. Breathe. Deeply. Breathe into the back. So the back is really exposed. So you have lots of space here to breathe. Breath coming in and breath going out. Now let's move the spine now again. So with the hands extended in front of you, fingers spread wide, breathing in, come up to all fours, breathing out, take the hips forward, take the shoulders back and down, opening the chest, inhaling, coming up, exhaling, sitting back. Just enjoying how it feels to move with the breath. Exhaling, open the chest. Inhaling, lifting to all fours. Exhaling, sitting deeply back into the heels. Really expel all the air before the inhale lifts you. How easy the movement is made, uh, movements are when you use the breath, when we use the breath to move our body. How much more energy we have, how much more capacity we have, opening the chest, looking up at the ceiling. So we're opening the front of the body, then inhaling and exhaling. And if your back's feeling a little bit stiff today, maybe you don't feel you have so much movement, then take it easy, take it slowly and move, move into, you know, move into this, this uh, full kind of extent gradually. So it's almost like, oh, that's okay. I can get to that point. You know, you don't have to go fully here. And then gradually let it, let it expand. And you'll find that will happen quite naturally with patience, with breath. And in this way, we, we are paying more attention to our body, what it needs, and developing a more intimate relationship with our body, with ourselves. Let's do one more. Breathing in, breathing out, opening the chest, opening the front of the throat. Inhale. And then we sit back into the heels. Take a moment there again. Relax the arms. Let the forearms rest on the ground. Breathe into the nostrils. <sighs> Have some releasing breaths. Breathing into the nostrils and out through the mouth while we're here. And sigh with our breath. <sighs> Release, how good that feels. So just extending the arms forwards again. Spread the fingers wide. We're going to come into downward dog. So I come up onto all fours. Breathing in, tuck the toes under, breathing out. Lift the knees off the ground. And we'll just get the legs a little bit more lively by bending the left knee, pushing the right heel down, bending the left knee and putting the, the right heel down. Whatever it is, it's the opposites, <laughs> rights and lefts. Okay, making sure the fingers are spread wide, you're pressing into the base of the first finger and the thumb. And just getting the legs moving. Also, the more you kind of exaggerate that, making a really strong bend in the knee, then you can get a bit more involved in the hips as well. They get a little bit of freedom, a bit of mobilization. And then come to a stillness there. Good. So we're gonna move from here into up dog. We need to take a rest, take a rest, otherwise we're gonna lift your gaze and take the body forwards and come into up dog. So we're really with the legs off the ground, pushing the heels back strong in the legs, taking the chest forward still, Slight, soft, slightly soft elbows there, not rigid. And with the, you see that my shoulders aren't up by my ears, they're open. And we'll have a little rest. Legs down, sit back into the heels once more. So we're going to come back into up dog and down dog, and we're going to see if we can move between the two, but in our own way, at our own rate. I'm going to give you a little bit of freedom to, to choose that. So we're first of all going to come to down the dog again. So coming up to all fours, 
Tuck the toes in, breathing in. Breathing out, lift the knees off the ground. So here we have down dog. We can see if our hamstrings are a little bit more stretchy now. And now we're going to move with the inhale. Take the eyes forward, take the gaze forward, take the chest forward, inhale, exhale, come into up dog. Good. Then you can stay here for a few breaths if you want to. You can always have, have the legs on the floor if that feels better for you. Or you can move into down dog. So inhaling to move, exhaling to sink into the posture. You can take a breath here if you want, or you can move between the two, inhaling, exhaling. So the inhale is that impetus, that movement, exhaling, sinking into the posture. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And if you feel like you need a rest, have a rest. If you want to play along with me, you can. Or if you want to do your own style. So maybe you want to just stay around, up dog for a few breaths. With legs on the floor or not, you can do that. And then move, when you want to move, inhale. Exhale into the posture. Maybe you want to stay in downward dog for a little bit. Really think about lengthening the spine here in downward dog. If you're in downward dog, if you're in up dog, breathing in, breathing out, and open the chest, take the shoulders down, slight bend in the elbows. It's strong, it's strong on the body, strong legs, strong thighs. So we're going to come out of this shortly. So come back to down dog, breathing in, breathing out. So wherever you are, find down dog. Take a breath there. And then we're going to walk the feet towards the hands and have a little bit of release and relief. So bend the knees, let the body hang. Let the arms hang, let the head hang. Neck is relaxed, breathe into the nostrils. Sigh out for the mouth. <sighs> let it all go. Really feel that release in the back. Knees are bent. Essential the knees are bent so that the upper body can really hang. So now we're going to lift from the base of the spine. Feel that sunshiny energy rising up from the center, from the base of the spine, traveling up each of the vertebrae, lifts one after the other, creating space, energy, and the whole length. Now we're magically upright and standing. Let's come to standing, and we'll just let, get ourselves limbered up a little bit. So we're going to begin just by lifting the, 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 the knees and doing this little cross course of lifting and moving the opposite arm. So it's the cross crawl, cross lateral movement. Enjoy this movement. Then we're going to extend the leg, meet it with the opposite hand. Breathing in and out through the nostrils the whole time. This is getting the energy moving efficiently and also coordinating the body with the brain a little bit better. And then we're going to take the leg out to the side, opposite arm over the head. Breathe, all the time breathe. And move at the speed you feel comfortable. Breathe in, in and out through the nostrils. And then we're going to come into this uh, cross lateral movement, so lifting the knee. Notice it's not lifting directly forward, it's crossing the body and then taking the elbow onto the other side of that knee. We've got this movement. And again, you can move at the speed you want to. You can make it very lively if you want to, or you can make it very slow. And actually it's a lot more difficult going slowly, you'll notice for the balance. And then finally, lifting the left knee and the right elbow and then opening out to the side. So, Ah, oh, yeah, lovely opening across the body, breathing with that, opening the hip, opening the shoulder, front of the body, really opening in this lovely diagonal across the body. Breathe freely. Okay. Then we're going to take the feet apart, about as wide as the shoulders, knees bent, and come into these twists, let the arms swing around the body. Yeah, loosen everything up a little bit. Breathe. Feel the coolness of the air around you, bending into the knees, coming up onto the toe. As you twist, turn right behind you. Let the arms swing very heavily. Then pop as the back of the hand just hits the back. 
the lower back there and come to a stop. Put those hands onto the lower back. Ah, breathe, enjoy. Ah, movement. Put hands on the front of the hips as well. Lightly. And take the fingers to the chest. Ah, into the center. Into the sides. Ah, yeah. Ah, get some sound going on there. Good. And let's go loosen up the face a little bit as well. Let's not forget the face. Because a lot of tension comes into the jaw here. So I get those fingers into the cheeks. And I'm just kind of massaging along the jaw, loosening up into the mouth there a little bit. Okay. And then taking the fingers, I like to take the, foot, the middle three thing, fingers, the middle finger, and then the two by the sides into the temples, just at the sides of the eyes there. It's a little dip there and it just really frees up tension. Feels really good. And breathe. And let's give ourselves a good shampoo to finish. Ah, yeah. Get those fingers really digging into the scalp. That's gonna, we're gonna make ourselves have all that big hair now. <laughs> so enjoy that. Ah, ah, yeah, feel this tingle. as you stimulate that scalp. So good, okay. Lift the shoulders up, breathing in. Out through the mouth. And again, breathing in. Out through the mouth. And one more breathing in. Out through the mouth. Roll the shoulders back a little bit as well. Let the knees bend, softening the body a little bit. Opening up the chest, shoulders, the neck, yeah. And then forward with those shoulders. Rolling them forward, knees bending. Just freeing up, loosening up. Okay. So we're gonna come into some standing postures now. Stand as one for mat. So we'll trick us in the triangle, standing nice and tall. And engage with the abdominals, the back, they're holding each other. Weight on the left foot, so you step back with the right. Feet at right angles, hips facing the long edge of the mat, breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest wide. Open the palms, breathing out, reaching over to the left and down. And reaching any part of the lower leg there and reaching up away with the right hand. Dropping that right shoulder away from the right ear. So extending, you feel that lovely expansion in the legs, but try, to, try not to lock the knees up. It's a straight knee, but not a locked knee. So we're not pressing them back. So that notice, you probably can't even see that difference in my legs there. That's locked and that's straight. It's a tiny difference, you can feel it. So the thing to do is just is play around and find, okay, yeah, that's really kind of, pushing and that's feeling, oh, my legs are engaged now. I have to work my legs. This is often why we lock our knees or lock joints is because we don't want to do the work with the muscles. It's normal. Come up on the inhale. Lower the arms on the exhale. Bend, bend into the right knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Put the weight onto the right foot, step back with the left. Get the hips level, breathe in, lift the arms, lift the chest, lengthen the body, breathing out, bring the arms to shoulder height, breathing in, open the chest. Wide, breathing out, reaching over to the right and down. Make contact with the leg, the lower leg there. And reaching up away from the right fingers, the left fingers, reach for the ceiling, reach for the skies. Lots of length in that left side. Keep that left hip back in place. Strong legs without being rocked in the knees. Wiggle the toes so you can feel the ground with your feet. Feel the ground, feel your breath, feel your body. Just enjoying your experience of your body, of your breath. Keeping the left shoulder away from the ear. Keeping your attention moving around your body, being interested and curious in your experience. Coming up on the inhale, lowering the arms on the exhale. Bend into the left knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Let's give the legs a little bit of a wiggle there just to loosen them up. Okay. So we're going to do a bigger step back now for a peaceful warrior. So 
put the weight onto the left foot and take a really big step back with the right. The toes are pointing forwards now rather than at a right angle and the hips are facing, still facing the long edge of the mat. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Extend the body, breathing out, bring the arms to shoulder height. Breathing in, expand. Feel the fingers expanding away from each other. And as we breathe out, we're gonna bend into that left knee. It's going to follow the line of the toes, not falling inwards. Opening across the hips. And at the same time, we're pressing into that back foot, right into the very back edge of that right foot. And at the same time, Fingers extending away from each other. Now we come into the peaceful warrior. Breathe in. As you breathe out, you reach back with that right hand as far as you can, then down. As the right arm goes down, the left arm goes up. And we turn that left arm. So now the palm is facing over the body as it reaches over. You can lean quite strongly into that right leg. Because it's strong, it's grounded. It's your anchor. And making sure you still have the bend in the left knee, in the front knee. And breathe, looking up at the ceiling on the inside of that arm. Breathe deeply. Okay, on the next inhale, we come back to warrior two. And we sink into it for our breath. Coming up on the inhale, lowering the arms on the exhale, bending into that right knee and bringing yourself back to the front of the mat. Other side now, weight on the right foot, step back with the left. Round the feet. Breathing in, lift the arms up, lengthen the body, breathing out, bring the arms to shoulder height, breathing in, expand, fingertips to fingertip, but keep the shoulders down so your neck is nice and long. And as you exhale, you're bending into that right knee, it's going in line with your toes, not collapsing inwards, opening the hips, at the same time pressing into the back edge of the whole of that leg there. So your even weight between the feet there. Now peaceful, breathe in, breathing out, reaching back with the left arm and down, make contact with that leg, really press onto there, reaching up with the right, turn the palm, so the palm's reaching over the body, opening this lovely line from the finger to the hip here. Keep that right knee bent, looking up at the ceiling on the inside of that arm, really enjoying the spaciousness, the expansion, Engagement with the body, the breath. Good. Use the inhale to come back to warrior. And exhaling, sinking a little deeper into that. Use the inhale to come up. Exhale, arms floating down there. Bend into the left knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Let's give everything a little shake. So it's just the knees to start, then the hips, then the shoulders. Give it some sound. Ah. Okay, we're going to come into a, uh, a wide leg rag doll now. So take the feet wide, not super wide, but comfortably wide. And then we're going to just bend the knees. So we're just already softening and let everything just soften. Let the head come down, the weight of the head, weight of the arms are hanging. And we're letting everything hang. Let the whole body hang, knees are bent, arms are relaxed on the ground. Give your back and your hips some space. Breathe into the nostrils, sigh out through the mouth. Breathe into the nostrils, sigh out through the mouth. Let it all go, let it all go. Good. We're going to slowly uncurl from this to standing. So starting and lifting from the base of the spine, leave the arms heavy, leave the head heavy, keep the knees bent. Rolling up, you'll find your knees come forward, your thighs, then your hips, then your belly, then your chest, then you're standing. We're going to come down again. This time we're going to open the shoulders a little. So take the hands behind you, interlink the fingers there. Let the hands just rest on your back. We then lift the gaze, and this time we're going to come in to the forward bend, so it means we kick back straight rather than the ragdoll we just did. So immediately, as soon as I'm bending forwards from the hips, I'm strengthening the abdominals and the back. My knees are slightly soft, but they are definitely straight, they're not bent. And letting the body come forwards as far as I can, straight with a straight back, and then relaxing forwards. And then eventually, once my head is hanging, then I'm going to let my arms come away from the back and come over the body. We're opening the fronts of the shoulders. 
And the shoulder blades squeeze together slightly here. Strong legs supporting us, not gripping with the toes, not locking the knees. Breathe into that chest. From shoulder to shoulder, the front of the chest, breathe into that space. Now bring those hands still interlinked to the center of your back, just so make that connection, and draw a circle on your back clockwise. Just enjoying that. And then we draw that anti clockwise, bending the knees now, and we're softly coming up, nice, soft unfurling as we draw these circles in the back. Feels good to do that. Okay. So I'm going to bring the feet together, give the legs a little shake. Good. Arms a shake, just reconfiguring. Now for some balance. Balance, focus. Okay, mind focus. A little bit of definitely a lot of mindfulness. We're going to do the harem balance, so it's moving, balance with movement. Put the weight on the left foot. Start to find that right foot is still on the ground, but that we're not having any weight going through it. So we begin by lifting the right knee and lifting the arms up to the sides, inhaling all the way up, the hands come together and the hands come away and the legs lowering down on the exhale. Hair and balance, very simple, beautiful balance. Really let that weight shift from the right, uh, from the left to the right. And as you lift that left knee, the arms are coming up, inhaling. Lift the knee high and breathing out, the arms are coming down. The leg is just moving slowly through space at the same rate as the arms. Shift the weight. Inhaling all the way up. Fingertips touch at the top there, and then they come down. The hands face down as they come down. And the foot touches the floor. The fingertips might come together here just to make this nice completion of the circle. Inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling, coming down. Good. This time you can add an extra part on, or you can just stay with this one, breathing in. You want to add that extension. As your arms come down, you push the heel out. The arms come down. And then you lift the knee as the arms come up. Lift it high. And then lower it down. So we've got an extra, extra length of balance and also a bit more work on the legs. Shifting the weight. Breathing in all the way up. Breathing out. Pushing the heel out as the arms come down. Don't hurry that too much. <laughs> Inhaling all the way up. Lifting the knee high and lowering down slowly as you can with the arms and the legs slowly exhaling. Shift the weight. Let's do one more on either side, breathing in. Lift the knee high, breathing out, push the heel out, exhaling. Inhaling, lift the knee high. Exhaling, lowering down. Last one, breathing in. Exhaling, pushing the heel out, arms coming down. Inhaling, lifting the knee, lifting the arms. Strong inhale, soft, slow. Exhale. Arms come down, foot lands. And let's give everything a shake. Shake the legs out, shake the arms out. Okay. Then we come into uh, another standing balance, the chair. So again, get the legs fired up a little bit. Feet are parallel and hips width apart. Inhaling, lift the arms up, stretch up. Push the feet into the ground. So we're extending in both directions. And then as you breathe out, the bottom is going to sit back into an invisible chair and we extend the arms forward. The back of the neck is in line with the arms. We're not looking at the hands. We're looking at the ground. Keep the legs strong. Keep the belly strong. Keep the back strong. Keep the arms in line with the spine. And breathe. Breathe deeply. Dig deep with your breath. Use the inhale to come up. Exhale, arms come down. Okay. Grab a thing and shake again. So we're going to come into a sun salute, half sun salute now. So again, moving and breathing. Great for the balance, great for the focus of the mind. Breathing in all the way up, hands come together. Breathing out, arms coming down. Knees bend, fingertips touch the ground. Inhale, hands to knees, look forwards. It's important to open the chest, engage the whole body and the legs. Breathing out, now the legs are straight and we're doing a forward bend. Bend the knees a lot more now as you push up through the legs, inhaling all the way up, look up, hands come together. Exhale, arms come down. Good. Breathing in all the way up. 
look up, breathing out, bend the knees, the chest is leading, the face is leading, the fingertips touch the ground, inhale. Look forwards, breathing out, look at the ground. Bend the knees a lot, eyes go up, arms go up, breath goes up, inhaling, exhaling, arms come down. Focusing on your breath, inhale. The breath is moving the body, exhale, knees bent, fingertips touch the ground, inhale, hands on the knees, look forwards, shoulders back, express that chest and breathing out, forward bend, straight legs, bend the knees a lot, inhale all the way up, exhale, arms come down, we'll do a couple faster now, inhale, exhale, inhale, look forwards, exhale, forward bend, bend the knees, breathing in, push up through those legs, exhale, yeah, inhale, still the same thing, bend the knees, fingertips touch the ground, inhale, look forwards, exhale, forward bend, straight legs, bend the knees, inhale, all the way up, exhale, let's do one more of these, exhale, inhale, exhale, forward bend, bend the knees, inhale, all the way up, and slowly let the arms float down to finish. Moving down slowly through space, breathing out. Good. So let's come down to the ground again. We're going to come in a forward bend. So you may want to support your back here, or you may want to go to the full extension. But uh, start off by breathing in. Make sure your feet hips with the part parallel. And breathing out, coming forward, strong belly, strong back, slight bend in the knee. Fingertips come to the ground. We're in forward bend now. So with the fingertips on the ground, look forwards, inhale, lengthen the spine, and then we're going to start to flatten. Start to bring the hands down. Keeping the eyes looking at those toes, not looking at the knees, but looking at the toes. The heart's wanting to move towards that space between the big toes. And the base of the spine wants to lift up to the ceiling. So I breathe. Breathe deeply. Good. Keep breathing. Without pushing or forcing, we're just breathing deeply, finding where our discomfort is and making it more comfortable through a long, slow out breath. Good. So let's come up onto the fingertips again. Look forwards, lengthen. And then we're going to, as you breathe out, put the weight on the left foot, take a big step back with the right. Really big step. So you're in a lunge. It needs to be quite far back so that you can straighten your leg here. If it's not far enough back, your bottom's gonna be in the air and that's not gonna be a very good, very pleasant kind of feeling lunge. Hand either side of the left foot, strong right leg. And then we're gonna bring the right knee down to the ground. I'm not. So we're going to just move this arm in a circle. So resting that left hand on the left knee, I'm gonna move the right arm around in a circle. If that knee is feeling painful, just pad it up, put something underneath it, a blanket or a cushion. So it's almost like you're pointing with that right finger, breathing in, and taking it right around. And you watch it with your eyes, you get a much bigger circle. You notice if I was just looking forwards, it's kind of not so much fun. I kind of lose on looking around. Whereas if I watch with my eyes where my arm is going, it's much nicer feeling and keeps me engaged. We'll go one more time around. Good. And then we're going to come back and change legs. Bring that right knee forwards, right foot forwards, right hand on the right knee. And we're going to go around with this one. It's almost, it's almost a slight point with that left finger there. I'm watching that as it comes around, making a big a circle as possible. Inhaling, extending up, exhaling the bottom half of the circle. The inhale is lift up the exhale as they're going back. Good. Breathing in, watching this movement with your eyes, staying and paying attention. One more round, breathing in and breathing out. Good. So now we're going to bring the hands again. Take the, the foot back, we're in all fours. So let's come into just another nice little back movement, cat stretch. Making sure the hands are underneath the shoulders, fingers spread wide, elbows slightly soft so the chest can be exposed here. 
I'm gonna do a very simple little cat cow movement. So inhaling, looking forwards, taking the chest forwards, exhaling, tucking the tailbone under, arching up through the spine, bringing the chin to the chest. Inhaling, lifting the base of the spine, letting that ripple up through the spine, looking forwards, opening the chest, looking up at the ceiling if you want to make that more exaggerated. And exhaling, always starts with the base of the spine, tucking under, arch the whole back. Imagine it's lifting up out the shoulders, chin comes to the chest. Inhaling, lifting the tail, letting it ripple up through the spine, looking up. So you almost think about it as opening the front of the body and then opening the back of the body. We're really thinking about the front and the back, getting as much movement and expansion as possible. Close your eyes, feel your breath. Okay. We'll come back to neutral, see how that feels. Now we're going to just take that right toe back. Take the left toe back, we're in a plank, the chest is above the hands. Just see if you can hold that while breathing, strong legs, strong arms, strong chest there. And then we're gonna lower down to the front of the body. So you can either bring the leg, knees down and lower down, or use the strength in the arms to lower the whole body down and rest on the side of the head. And have a little rest now. Maybe just let the body rock side to side there. The movement's coming from the hips there, just to, Comfort and giving ease into the body. Yeah, it feels nice. Rocking, very comforting for the body. Good, and then just relax. Breathe in through the nostrils. Feel the breath expanding against the ground. Ah, breathe out through the mouth. Yeah. So let's come into a couple of back bends. Bring the legs together. Bring the hands forwards so they're level with your eye line, the fingers. But make sure that the shoulders are down away from the ears and the elbows are tucked in. So they're not right up by the face, the hands have space right at the edge of the mat, maybe on the outside even. Come onto the forehead. We're gonna come into sphinx. So the neck needs lots of space here. Use the inhale. So don't use the buttocks. Switch the buttocks off by pointing the toes towards each other. Now use the inhale to lift the head, nose, chin, chest off the ground, we're not really pressing into the forearms, we're using the back strength instead. Open the chest, looking forwards, trying not to use the buttocks here, using the strength in the abdominals and the back, using them together here. Good. And just try and uh, capture that serene expression of the sphinx on your own face. Breathe. One more breath in, put all the weight into the forearms, lower down slowly, rest on the other side of the head. And relax. Ah, yeah, take a nice sigh out for the breath, out for the mouth. Ah, good. We'll do one more back bend. So you can stay with the Sphinx, which we just did, or you can slide the hands back for Cobra. Try and keep those elbows in. And they're about level with the shoulders, your hands there. Forward to the ground, bring the legs together. Inhale, lift the nose, chin, chest. So using your back, just your back first of all, open the chest, then help it along by pushing into the arms. Try and keep those shoulders down away from your ears and think about this as being a front opening. So we're really stretching the abdominals, you're lifting the chest, you're keeping your shoulders down. You can even look up at the ceiling if you feel that's okay, opening the front of the throat. Good, breathe. Now we're gonna switch and bend the elbows a lot so you can just take all the weight in your arms as you lower down. So we're just relaxing. Just the back is not doing anything there. And then we're going to push into the hands, sit back into the heels and enjoy that lovely extension in the back, bring the forward to the ground. Make little claws with your hands, with your fingers, just to exaggerate that expansion, that release in the back and the shoulders. Breathe deeply. Good. 
So I'm going to move slowly onto our backs now. And you can find your way onto your back, however feels good for you. Whatever feels easiest, let's make it very easy. Maybe lying in Shavasana. Put the feet away from each other, the arms out to the sides, back of the neck is long. So make sure that chin isn't lifted away from the chest, it's tucked in, so that your neck is in line with your spine. Close your eyes, breathe in. Breathe out for the mouth. Let it all go. We'll just do one last little kind of rock and roll just to release the back. And anything else you might feel you need at this moment before we lie still. So lifting the knees up to the chest, hug the knees for a moment, just releasing and softening. Breathe. Rocking gently, just gently, not doing anything dramatic. Placing the soles, the feet on the ground, slide the legs away. Let your hands just rest on your belly for a moment. We're going to just ease into our relaxation by beginning with, we'll start with a little bit of abdominal breathing. This is a very, very useful practice, great for um, relaxing your body and your mind before going to sleep, if you find that difficult, or any time of day you want to slow your breathing down. Bring the belly, bring the attention into the belly and breathe into that. So with the hands there, it just encourages that you can feel the breath. So inhaling, expand the belly, breathing out, shrinking the belly, let it squeeze all the air out. So close your eyes and just enjoy this direct contact with your breath. Keeping the breath in and out through the nostrils, keeping the breath smooth, even and steady. So let that slowly inflate. Slow, steady inflation and a slow, steady exhalation. Squeeze all that breath out. Empty, empty, empty. Let the rest of the body start to relax. Nothing to do here. Not start to notice how expansive this area, how much capacity we have. Coming back to that word, capacity. We increase that capacity for our breath. We breathe better, we live better. We have access to the relaxed state much quicker once we practice. Now that that all good. And we practice of breathing now, well, it's very natural and easy. So, relax. just let go of that, let the arms fall out to the side. Just breathe easily and naturally. Breath coming in, and breath going out. In and out through the nostrils softly. Breath coming in, breath going out. Eyes closed if they're not already closed. And just feeling the whole of your back relaxing into the ground.
And so we come out of our relaxation now, come back into the day. Come back into the day. Start to move your body, start to breathe a little deeper, start to stretch and move. Stretch and move your body. Rolling onto your side, onto your right side for a moment, just taking your time to come back to seated. Breathe a little deeper, open your eyes, look around, move yourself slowly to seated and just rubbing your surfaces of your body and feeling a sense of gratitude for this body, for this experience. And then we're gonna rub the palms together. Focus some heat and energy between the palms of the hands and give that heat and energy to the heart center. Bring the hands one on top of the other, close your eyes. And bring to mind your sankalpa, your intention. Say that phrase or sentence to yourself a few times here and really let it land and be held in your heart. Good, good, thank you so much. Namaste, namaste. I'm Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you for your practice.